Well, good morning to you folks. I'm about to go to the post office, drop off the latest load that we have of uh, my own Fredonia 78s, a few other records that I've managed to sell people. And then I'm going to go on a grand adventure way out into East Texas and do hopefully an all day event and just kind of free balling it today going to be just going out and hitting what I can. It's Friday, so there'll be garage sales. Maybe I'll hit the odd flea market that I don't know about, and we'll just see what transpires. So I called ahead to a thrift shop that I know will be open at this horribly early hour. I mean, right now it's 9 a.m., and I don't normally know who is up at this time. I get up sometimes to go out and look for records at this hour, but it just astonishes me that people are up and moving and active this time of day. Huh. Well, I called to make a long story even longer. And they said, oh yeah, we've just got in a bunch of 45s and 72s. Well, I know they mean 78s, so, you know, I don't want to go correcting people when they tell me they have stuff. That's not good form. So we're going to go and look at some 45s and 72s. So I've arrived, gonna go inside, see what's around. This door they've moved, so. Well, they've got records. This is one of those sound alike things where they would take the day's hits, do their own versions of them. Sometimes they're great. Okay. It's all 50 stuff, so I'm gonna go to both hands. Well, case in point, how records can deceive. I grab this one up. I look and it says the rounders. Wow. Round dance. Another dang square dance thing. They get me every time. Well, that was good. Uh, went through a bunch of 45s, all from the 50s. Sadly, it was almost all pop. I did find that one sound like country slash rock and roll 45. Might be some good performances on it. We'll go in here and see what we find. Well, no luck there. Had a bunch of albums. Not my bag unless it's something that is my bag. So, I'm going to head back out to the trusty, rusty element. And, uh, well, go out and find more records. Here's a garage sale. I like garage sales. You can kind of tell from looking if it's just clothes strewn out on the ground that it's not something to look at. But this one has stuff. Stuff needs to be checked out. So I guess the moral of this lesson is you just stop everywhere and ask. Of course, they didn't have any records. They had cool stuff. Bought a little hand puppet for my niece who lives in Argentina. But we're not going to do a whole series on buying hand puppets. That's, that's just a different world. Got a thrift store up here that is always closed. I've stopped here a few times, but it's been quite a long time. So we're gonna stop up here at the thrift shop and just keep doing this. Persistence pays. Being a rockabilly musician doesn't pay, but this does all right. We're leaving that little town. I'm a bit behind schedule today because I didn't intend to stop there. Since I'd called this one place, they did have some records, weren't many. It behooved me to go over there and check. No harm, no foul. I handed out a card or two. So we're going to press on down to southeast a bit and then hook it east and bit, do a big circle, hopefully getting back just in time to have a nice nutritious supper because I'm still doing my diet. Yeah, yesterday I went out with my daughter and we had a Chinese buffet, but I limited myself to one plate painful as though that was. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go look for more records. I guess another thing you've got to watch out for when you are on the road are highway pirates. I've got one right in front of me. He's been nice enough to hoist the Jolly Roger. It means don't mess with me. So I'm not going to mess with him. He might shiver me timbers or steal my booty or get my records. That'd be the worst, wouldn't it? All town alert. Going to get my radar going, my antenna up for the usual garage sales, thrift shops, and such. I know there's a couple of uh, 
thrift shop type places here. I'll stop the first one and we'll just see what happens. Continuing on, there was nothing there new. Got another place coming up on the left. Let's just hit that. So I've hit half a dozen places with really no good records to look at or no records at all, but doesn't get me down. Now if somebody's thin skin and they uh, can't take not finding stuff at every stop, this isn't the thing for you. You've got to be able to go sometimes days or week or more really without finding anything. Then you're going to start finding stuff eventually. Got a garage sale sign here. And then life is better and sunshiny again. Every now and then you'll go through a slump where nothing's turning up, especially if it's bad weather. That's part of the game. That's when, you know, maybe you're eating rice and beans for a bit. Anything, as long as you don't take a real job somewhere. That's just so distasteful. Well, we've got to do a UE right here. Take a look at this sale that's popped up. I don't remember this place. Maybe it's new. Maybe it's got records. Maybe they'll run me out with a shovel. I don't know. Well, that's not bad. We're back into the $2 territory of records. Money Honey by Elvis. It's one of his RCAs, but it does sell well because it's one of his earlier good rockers. I've got the cover to this one at the house. It's an extended play by Fats Domino. Decent shape. And then always early George Jones. Uh-uh, no. Kind of a good bopping thing. Once again, another copy of uh, Don't Like I Did by Johnny Horton and I'm Ready If You're Willing and Honky Tonk Man by Johnny Horton. Those sold well, but they always sell well now. Start A Records. Hard to pass one up. It was a hit for George Jones. But people always want the Start A stuff. So, I'm emboldened to go out and look some more. So I've spent all of $10.25 on records so far. And pretty much everything I buy will eventually sell. Sometimes uh, they don't sell for much. You know, I'll throw them in on a handful of records cheaply at a record show or they'll go cheap on eBay or a 45 group or something on Facebook. But they will always sell and it's rare for me to ever lose money on something, especially if it's a $2 record. But the Johnny Hortons are solid $15 to $25 records. You know, getting those sold, that pays for more than what I'll spend on gas. Since I'm on my don't eat so much diet, food's pretty much handled as well. It's a good thing when you're doing this sort of life to live cheaply, enjoy, but I try not to have things that I have to make payments on. That way I don't put myself into a corner credit-wise or financially when I do run across a bit of a slump in uh, finding or selling. Well, let's see what's in Bradford. Gotta be something good here. Did a U-turn? I see a sign there that says uh, open one half mile away there's an antique place all right the hunt is on about 90 percent of the time those are old signs that uh, have lead you to a long boarded up or closed down place some of the time though it's worth it and i figure you know half a mile out half mile back that's not going to cost me that much is it eh. I've already got a Christmas tree up at the house. I figure if I stop and hack one of those down, I'd get shot before I could get it loaded. Thievery's no good, is it? There it is, and it looks like it is indeed open. I'm going to do a turnaround. Good looking place thus far. Maybe it's got some stuff to it. Well, very neat place, no records, but they have a good philosophy. Every six months they liquidate everything in the shop and refill it with new stock. A lot of places I go to, they're like museums in that they keep the same stuff and never add to it year after year after year. Well, this looks good. Hope it's open, hope they've got stuff. 
let's go see. I like these little small towns that have stuff like this. You never know what you're going to get because a lot of their stuff comes from rural finds. And it's the rural folks that were the rockabillies and blues lovers, etc. This is the kind of place I like to find. It's not ritzy, hoity-toity, or frou-frou. It's just stuff. Okay. Wow. Unused acetate records. And they're glass-based. Ooh. I haven't seen glass-based records in a long time. I might buy one or two, though, and see if they cut. Wow. I think one here's got damage. Yeah, that one's got a crack, so we'll skip it. But they're a dollar each. Oh, that is so cool. Another. These are little wonder records, single sided. Not much on there for me. So nothing as far as 45 records, but I've bought three domino label glass-based acetate records. These things are literally glass. One of them is starting to flake on the edge. They probably won't cut well because they're so old, but I'm hoping they will. Besides, at a dollar each, not missing very much there, huh? Okay, and um moderately sized town not a big town but probably the biggest town around I'm going to see if there's any antique shops here I haven't been here in a year or more I like to hit a place and then just leave it for a while and then let it uh, grow more stuff as it were I'm gonna stop here I think this is a place might be one across the street too okay that one big place where I found things before is inexplicably closed. It's supposed to be open today, but anyway, something's going on with them. Hope they're all right. Let's check the next place. I found out that place that was closed will be open. So, in the time until it does, I'm going to check this place. The Hokey Pokey. I think that is really what it is all about. Interesting. I'm not much in the LPs, but while I'm killing time, I sure will look. exercise today that can't be anything but good ah, I found the records 78s 45s okay I'm going to two-handed mode here well I've stopped at another place it didn't look real typical and had a big box of 45s mostly square dance and then I started finding so I've got a good handful here I'll go pay for in a bit. Then we'll go out to the car and get some pictures of how they look and I'll feel gratified and they're they're all what I call gambling records. Don't have my player with me inside the shop, but at a 
buck a piece might as well just go for it but they all look suspiciously good we'll see and these might turn out to be sonic losers I don't know but really if it's stolen by stir by sir Stan in the counts I know I've got a decent Johnny Cash mean-eyed cat on Sun his used to not sell well now they sell pretty good so let's put these in the car then we'll go across the street then we'll go around the block to that one that has finally opened up all right across the streets a sandwich shop that looks like in the back side of it has a bit of an antique mall flea market thingy doesn't take much space to hide good records as I've learned over the years a few LPs a ukulele <clears throat> without strings I call that an improvement on the basic instrument don't hate me ukulele buffs out there that's just humor I've got to employ better humor writers I know well it wasn't productive but made a few hundred extra steps and now let's go on to what I hope will be a place that has good records historically they have been we'll see how well that holds up good they're open Let's see what's going on. We've got records. Okay. Switch into both hands. Not yet. Okay, I gotta go to both hands on this. I'm done with downtown. Now I'm just gonna do my patented, let's check all of the points of the compass until I run out of town. See what kind of uh, small time shops, junk places. Like I say, they spring up and down like mushrooms, you know, after a rain. Maybe there'll be something here for me. If not, I get to put more miles on my car. That's always good, isn't it? I've got healthy respect for garbage trucks. They weigh a lot more than my car does. When you've nothing else popping up, stop at the Goodwill. I think I'm fixed for blue jeans, though. But let's go in here and see what else can be found. Let's make a little turn. Head over towards Jacksonville and want to hit some places out that way. Just see if there's anything out that way. Been a while. And right off the bat, here's a thrift store. Let's go see what's there. Not making any promises, but here's some records. Well, nothing, but you gotta hand out a card, make the contact, then head on down the road. Maybe that contact will ripen in a few weeks, days, months, years, but, or never. But it gives you a chance. My wife always tells me if I don't go and look, I'm guaranteed not to find anything. So I'd rather go out and look. Well, I've arrived in the next town. The sun has come out. It's a lot nicer. Let's go in. Got a stack of 78s to go through, so why not? Look to be in nice shape, but they look to be a big band pop. around the clock might as well look at it one of the first rock and roll records ever 
most of you might well know. We'll go to both hands now. So far, just the Bill Haley 78, which is in very nice shape. That's one that helps pay for gas and etc. I like these old storefront creaky floored antique places. They're fun. Especially when they have good things in them. Well, here's another likely spot. Been here a few times. Always seem to find something. Man, we got 78s, don't we? Nothing to need, though. Uh, still nothing I need. Uh, okay, we got 45s. I'm going to go to both hands now. Well, this place just keeps going with 78s, so I'm going to keep looking. Mm, okay. It's all been big band, essentially, but a little bit of hillbilly. There's a neat one right there. That's actually hard to find. I need a 45 of it for a friend. But it's just so neat to see a copy of that. Put my stuff down now and dig proper since now I'm finding. Okay, so I ended up with what I think is going to be a decent soul record. I'll just look all this up when I get back to the house, considering it's all like 50 cents each. Pine Ridge Boys on Bluebird, Hillbilly Duet. A couple of good sound-alikes, Heartbreak Hotel by Jerry Dodge and Blue Suede Shoes by Jerry Dodge. Now these are tough to find. I'm actually looking for a 45 of this one for a friend who's been looking for it for years pretty good version too. 78's a hard one as well. I'm going to keep looking. I've got two hours left at least. Got a few more places to check before I call it a day. Here's some 45's. Put them up on this pie plate. A bit new for me, but maybe there'll be some older things. Well, a little bit. Go to both hands now, as per usual. Well, moving right along. I think I saw those records three or four years ago. Nothing new for me, but that's the way it is. Looks like I found one last place. Hopefully there'll be another one or two before I get home. It's just 412 right now, but it's winter time in Texas, or pretty close to winter, and things start to close up as soon as it gets a little twilighty. Let's check it out. Well, all right. I've had a pretty good day. I don't think I got anything super rare. I got lots of stuff to sell, though, and that adds up. I put it in the boxes for the record shows and throw it up on Facebook and eBay. And I've avoided the 9 to 5 grind once again. I consider that a win.